English student electric static events started this afternoon. The judges have been arriving all week and were briefed on their tasks for the event earlier today. The teams themselves have been assigned locations and times to meet their judges for their design, cost and business plan presentation. Once the judging is over, finalists will be selected for both business plan presentation finals and design finals. The FSE business plan presentation finals will take place later this evening on the main stage and is open to the public. The FSE design finals will take place tomorrow evening in the forum. The design finals is not a public event, but don't worry, you won't have to wait long as the results for the FSE static events will be announced on Friday evening during the award ceremony part one. Scrutineering is still ongoing from yesterday and the feedback has been positive from the scrutineers. So far, 30% of the combustion teams are through, with the Hawks Racing from UAS Hamburg being the first to pass all the inspections. 8% electric teams have also made it through scrutineering, and there the first team was the Running Snail Racing Team from the OTH Amberg. As the static events for FSE have been running in parallel today, we expect the number of electric teams to increase by tomorrow. To find out which teams are through, please take a look at the scrutineering trackers on the Formula Student Germany website. The judging for the special awards also started today. The special awards are additional awards presented to the students by our sponsors. The awards are given for different categories including design, performance and aesthetics. The teams can win trophies and cash prizes as well as other additional treats from our sponsors. Is it really that time of the year again? Happy play in the sand day everyone! And happy birthday to the seven team members who are celebrating their birthday today. The weather tomorrow. There should be a high of 24C and a low of 14C with a high chance of rain. Tomorrow is the first day of the dynamic events where we start to see the performance of the cars on the track. Have a good evening and see you tomorrow. Since 2010, Formula Student Germany has held two competitions in parallel. Formula Student Combustion and Formula Student Electric. Formula Student Electric requires the students to build a race car driven by purely electric drivetrain. This means no more fuel tank and no more combustion engine, but instead using electric motors controlled by power electronics. Electric mobility is still finding its comfortable place in the world and so far there have been multiple packaging and design solutions with regard to whether they use one or multiple motors. Either way, in order for the system to work, they require an energy source. This comes in the form of a battery. In order to run a car with a battery, the batteries must be able to retain a large amount of energy and be rechargeable. Within the automotive industry, as well as Formula Student Electric, the power to weight ratio is also key in order to maintain the efficiency of the vehicle. The most popular types of battery technologies to be used in FSE are lithium iron and polymer cells. These types of technologies, though using less stable chemicals, offer performance. Students will buy the individual cells and build their own batteries. Prototype batteries mean FSG demands that the students take safety very seriously. Students and volunteers are also given special safety trainings and briefings with regard to what happens if a battery were to fail. Once the battery has been built into the car, further components are required in order to manage the battery. The AMZ team from ETH Zurich have come up with an innovative solution as to how this could work. A battery management system is a system that you use to monitor the cells in your accumulator. So most Formula Student teams use lithium polymer cells, which you need to monitor for voltage as well as temperature. Um, so you want the cells to be kept in a certain window where they are safe, and that's why you need the system. Um, and the battery management system monitors, as I said, voltage and temperature, and as soon as the values get out of the safe window, it um, basically disconnects the high voltage from your car. So we have a low voltage system and a high voltage system, and as soon as one of your cells gets unsafe for the operation of the car, it disconnects the high voltage, the tractive system is shut down, and the driver is safe. And um, what's so special about your system? Well, um, typically in Formula Student, the teams buy um, a commercial uh, solution for the battery management system. And this year, for the first time, we implemented our own um, battery management system. And what is special about it is that it is optical, so it doesn't communicate via wires, as it is typically the, the case, but it communicates via infrared light. So we have like small modules with 
LED lights that transmit the uh, infrared like pulses and the different modules communicate with each other and that's how we are able to eliminate some of the weight of the car but also make the system more reliable because um, the <coughs> compatibility with the electromagnetic interferences is higher and um, also the um, vibration, it is more resistant to vibrations of the car because you don't have any wires that could disconnect. Yes, it is.